Welcome, and today we are going to make a moving star animation in, in Adobe Animate. That's under HD, and hit Create. Now in your timeline, we're going to be paying attention to the time markers. So what that means is I want you to just notice that we're going to be only working in the one second mark. We'll be building another animation in the five second mark. Uh, adding to our animation the 10 second mark, 15 second mark, and 20 second mark, and so forth. So every five seconds we're going to be adding something to our animation. Start by choosing the polygon tool and choose the star option under tool options. I'm going to work with a five point star but you can alter that if you'd like. Choose a color for your star and you can use the select tool if you'd like to move it, I would recommend a transparent outline. Now go to your first second mark on your timeline and open the menu and insert a frame. You can also just select F5 at the top of your keyboard. We're going to insert five frames to the five second mark. Now jump to the six second mark, open up your menu and insert keyframe. Now you're going to just click and move your shape over just a little bit we actually also want to rotate it a little bit, so click the free transform tool, hover until you see the rotation icon, and just alter that rotation just a little bit. I'm going to turn on onion skinning so we can see what happened in our previous keyframe and frame sequence. I'm now going to go back to keyframe number two, and I'm going to insert a frame. I can also click the F or the F5 function key. And I'm going to insert frames to the 10 second mark. And at the 11 second mark, I'm inserting my third keyframe. Again, just click and drag your star, move it across the page uh, just slightly, and rotate it just in a new direction. Use that free transform tool. And then insert five more frames to the 15 second mark. And at the 16 second mark, you're going to move your object again. And you're going to rotate it. So every five seconds, your showing just a slight movement and a slight rotation to your object. I'm repeating this step, adding a keyframe every five seconds, moving my object slightly and rotating it, and then adding five frames, then inserting a keyframe. And I'm going to continue this process until I reach the opposite side of my stage. So we started on the left side, and we are slowly moving over towards the right side. You can choose the direction that you move your object in. Just don't move your object too far away from the previous frame that it was in. If you keep your onion skinning on, you'll be able to see where you started and you'll be able to see uh, you know, how far it is that you need to move. This process of inserting a keyframe, moving our object, and then inserting frames will continue and you'll probably have a 30 to 40 second animation with this process. Once you are done, you're going to save your file, and then you're going to export it as a movie, and you're going to choose the SWF export option. I'm saving it in my animations file on my desktop so I can locate it easily and save it to Google Classroom later. Here's what the file looks like as a SWF movie and it's just going to play as a looping animation and it's going to show your star wiggling and moving across the screen.